everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am trying to get a whole vibe going here um, in honor of my Marilyn Monroe look. I got the kit from Besame, um, one of their kits. I know they had maybe a, an even bigger one actually available when everything launched. And now I think they're down to this set, which this kit really does pretty much contain the full look. It's a gorgeous box here. And inside we've got a little palette. We've got some false lashes, um, multiple lip products here, three lipsticks, including her signature Red Hot Red, which has been available in Besame's line for some time, but they've really expanded now to a couple of glosses, a mascara, a little sharpener in here, a white cream, which is perhaps the most fascinating thing out of all of this, a couple of different eyeliners and lip liners. So you guys know I love Besame's line, and if you're not familiar, what they are known for is doing um, replicas of iconic colors in makeup, and uh, they put it into a new modern formula. Um, with a very glamorous look. Like here's a look at Red Hot Red just in their normal packaging here. Everything is really beautifully detailed, well thought out, very luxurious feel. Um, and the lipsticks are what they're really known for and they have lots of reds because there have been so many different reds over time. And the people behind Bessemer are practically like historians. So I think the brand is so, so cool. And what's interesting is they put out these different special collections here and there. Um, they've done some some like the Snow White collection or the Sleeping Beauty collection, some gorgeous Disney things where a palette has been out with it. And you don't necessarily expect that the palette's gonna be mind blowing because the brand is known for doing good lipsticks, right? But they do an amazing powder formula. Like they've done some out of the park pigmentation with some of their palettes. But what we're gonna do today, I've got this little guide and it's going to guide us through step by step what to do for the classic Marilyn Monroe look here. So while we do have several different lip colors, like we have a more peachy lip color, um, a couple shades of red in there, the glosses and all. Um, this is going to be the most classic Marilyn look that does incorporate the red hot red lipstick and um, some shades from the palette. So I'm going to take you straight through everything and I believe like this collection that I have, the main difference from this to um, maybe the bigger one that was available was that they put a powder in that. Just a light, I think translucent or slightly glowy powder compact. I have something like that from the Snow White line, so when we get there, I will just use what I have for that step. But already on my skin, what I've done is put on foundation. Today I'm wearing my Huda Stick Foundation. I just wanted to get a nice, even, super matte complexion going. I used my Huda Concealer as well, a nice little duo there. I'm trying out this Urban Decay All Nighter Translucent Softening Loose Setting Powder, so that's on too. I did just the lightest bit of bronzer on the skin. I did my brows, and I put on eye primer. So now we're ready to jump in and um, this kit actually has me starting with the eyes. So first thing I want you to apply this white cream highlighter to the lower lid and inner corner of the eye and blend thoroughly. So this is so cool and this is the kind of thing like as far as this whole kit goes, you might think, well, I don't want to spend the money on that whole Besame kit. But what you will see throughout this video is that the shades are really kind of basic, actually. You could duplicate this look with different shades that you probably already have. But what makes the kit special is really the legwork that Besame has done to make everything they've made really accurate and really beautifully packaged as well. Like there's a whole aesthetic here. It's just very fun and cool. But um, one thing that I didn't already have that I think you can round up at a lower price. I know if you look into camera ready, cosmetics.com. They've got different brands that would sell a white cream. So this is purely just a white cream, like stark white matte cream. And there's going to be a couple of ways that this gets used in the look that you're going to be like, what? When it comes into the face steps, it's really, really fun. It's kind of crazy that they've got me doing eyes first. I never do eyes first, but they want me to put this all over the lower lid and inner corner of the eye. So um, I'm going to get a little bit of that on the inner corner. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole step with the brush. I forgot that I did that. I've already like done this whole entire look and played with these products multiple times just to familiarize myself. But see how it's just, it's white cream. And they want you to take this all the way under the eye too. There's gonna, gonna be some little tips and tricks that I think you take from this that's gonna be kind of, kind of fun, a little different. In case you're curious about the formula, it's very thick. 
You know, like it's just a thick white cream, completely matte, and you will use it in the look in a variety of ways. So I've taken that around my inner corner for brightness. I've taken it down under my eye as well. Then we're gonna go into our little palette here. And this could honestly do some contouring, I think, if you wanna do on the face. This is gonna become a blush, but right now they want us to use the cream shade um, all over the lid and up to the brow bone. And this is where we get into the fact that Besame, who is known for great lipstick, Sticks, does an incredible powder formula in these special edition palettes. This little quad here is something that is so basic. I think you're gonna love it so much for how it turns out the eye look and that shade as a blush. They should totally keep this available at all times, I think. And it also says, we are all stars and deserve the right to twinkle. It has that little quote right here. So all shades are matte in this. Couldn't be more basic, but as you're gonna see, it turns out such a beautifully, naturally contoured eye look when it's all said and done. So I'm just patting that really nicely pigmented, full coverage matte cream shade right in here, and they want it to go all the way up to the brow. So for that, I'm just gonna pull in a, a lighter brush. I'm just gonna sweep that all throughout this area. Then they want you to lightly sweep the light brown shade into the crease. So this is our light brown right here. Crease brush. And it looks like it's very fully inward here, according to the face chart. I tell you, I got some little like eye contour duos from the Kim Kardashian line because I just thought, oh, that sounds like a nice little, you know, sweet and easy. <laughs> I look there and they're all right, but the tones in this are so much more natural for me when we talk about a naturally contoured eye. Then you're gonna take the taupe shadow um, to deepen the crease. So this is the taupe right here. It's just kind of like a dusty charcoal gray, it seems like. And look how natural this is as you apply that on top of everything, like the most natural looking shadow there gets to develop. There we go. If you wanted to go in with an even more precise brush, you could build this shade up even darker, but I'm just trying to stay with the picture here, my friends, and it's not a terribly dark eye look, okay? Then we have a very dark liner in the shade Espresso, and they say to apply this to the upper lash line, slightly winging it up at the outer corner. So let's do that. Just a very basic pencil here. And I think the reason why this isn't a more high-tech liner here is that Besame is probably trying to stay authentic to actual types of products that were probably used back then. It's interesting to wing out with brown. I so often see myself doing this with black. Okay, so there we go, soft wing. Isn't it crazy how this is like naturally the kind of eye look people want to do these days and it was something that was so iconic back then as well. I feel like the liner came off a bit cleaner on this eye compared to this eye, but that's okay, there's gonna be lashes involved too. Lightly defined bottom lash line with the light brown shadow. So this is our light brown. This isn't gonna show a whole lot, but I guess it will lightly define. Then they say to create a drop shadow with the taupe shade. So if you look up closely at this look, we can see this kind of a vibe happening on the lower lash line, like a little separation and a little drop. And it says this will mimic the natural shadow of the lashes. And this is kind of crazy what this does. I couldn't quite believe my eyes when I did it at first. So we're going in with an angled brush to that shade. And then we're gonna kind of like flick out and kind of down and it's gonna look like kind of a a lash shadow there which is a little crazy to think of but it does work and it does look more convincing when the lashes are on and when you've got lashes on it really does mimic the look of like something we never think about is the shadow that lashes create and that like just further accentuates that it's kind of crazy and then to add more emphasis they want you to take the white right here and apply it in between like whatever you say, Bessemay, hey, I'm just uh, I'm just learning here. Next, you're gonna take the white liner that they give you and put this on the lower inner rim to brighten. And it transfers really well and lasts really well too, but it is a 100% stark white. 
all part of the transformation, my friends. So normally I'm going in with something that's a little bit like off-white there, but this is very like va va voom And they make a point about hitting the outer corner with that as well. So are we seeing the eye look here? Naturally contoured eye. You've got a little flick out there on the bottom. We've got a little wing on the top and we've got brightness in the lower inner rim. Now we're gonna apply the mascara and the lashes. So typically Besame is doing that cake mascara, you know, like the old school cake mascara is kind of their thing. But this is a very classic looking tube of mascara. They have this beautiful, like, can you see? Can you see the way they've done the little details just like there on the tube? Marilyn's signature is on everything. They've just paid attention to every little detail. So I'm gonna pop this mascara on each eye and then do the lash. And just as is, the mascara is a pretty decent formula. It's not too wet, not too dry. And you might notice, you know, Marilyn doesn't have a huge lash going on here. It's kind of a little longer at the outside and doesn't really flare up so much as more of a bedroom eye kind of going down. We're supposed to apply the half set lashes to the outer corners, then apply another coat of mascara to bond the false lashes with your own. So we do actually have two different sets of lashes here. I wonder if this is the half lash that they're referring to. It's more flared out and not quite as long left to right as these are. Obviously everything's trimmable, but I just think they're referring to this more flared out style as her classic lash. So we're talking something along the lines of a demi wispy here, except this seems maybe a bit longer and fluffier. I'm not sure that I've ever seen Besame do a false lash before, but these seem really nice. Um, the band is nice and flexible, just taking it out of the packaging. You know, it's real easy to move around and maneuver, and I think that's so important. And I put a little Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions on the lower lashes just because I wasn't sure how um, the Besame mascara was going to wear, but can you kind of see what they mean by that little outer flick. It'll really become relevant once the big lash goes on because it's like a little shadow. And while we're waiting here, they do have a section on brows and they say use the light brown shadow um, and an angled brush to create a real arch like she has. Um, the point of the arch should be just above the outer edge of the pupil. For me and my brunette, take on the Marilyn look. Um, obviously my brows are a lot darker than this shade right here, but you know, you could probably use a mix of these two. This is cool enough that um, that could work for me, but I just use my Benefit micro filling pen today for my brows and I have quite a bit of an arch there naturally, so that works out for the look. And we're just popping it right on the liner. There we go. So pretty. That's a really nice lash. Nice length on the outside. She's also got her little beauty mark here, which I don't think they really talk about instruction wise on here, but I have a little bit of one right here too, so I'll just leave that be. Next, they have us doing lips in the instructions. So we're all out of order from the way I normally do things, but this is kind of fun. Use the Berry Lip Liner Pencil to define the lip. Um, overdraw the line just slightly, creating a rounder shape at the outer corners. Okay, so like it doesn't come down in close right here, like to make it a little fuller right at the outer corners is what they're talking about. And this liner does come off just like a little darker than the Red Hot Red lipstick. And then the other lip liner shade that they give you would coordinate more with the um, peachy shade of lipstick that's in this kit. I'm gonna put on just a touch of lip balm. This is my Blistex Moisture Revitalizer, so good. Just make things glide a bit better. It's Monday morning and we're overdrawing the lips with red. That's right, friends. You can eyeline just a little bigger and then not pulling it in as tight and close as you might normally do. She doesn't have a real sharp looking Cupid's bow. Like it, it's almost coming across there a bit more, which does make the lip look fuller. I'm filling in just a little, like I'm kind of feathering it in lightly. Okay, there we go, all lined. Then you're gonna apply Red Hot Red lipstick with a lip brush and place the color over the liner. So since I already have that shade, I'm not gonna bust into the one that's part of this kit. But the packaging is so beautiful. It's got that kind of ribbed thing going on on the outside and then that beautiful crystal type top and then the same look as a standard Besame lipstick. Um, and it does have Marilyn's signature on the bottom here. So that's their fancy packaging and I will, oh, 
but I will just use the one that I have here. There's my lip brush. This is also from Bessonet. And the standard way of applying a lipstick by their instruction is to put it on with a lip brush and then um, blot it off and then put more on and blot it again. And you do get a crazy long wearing look if you do that method. Okay, so super full red lips. Um, red Hot Red, by the way. It might be hard to get a sense of the true color since this is kind of a berry lip liner, but it's a very like warm red. Okay, all filled in now. Then apply Carnation Red lipstick to the center of the lips. Okay, so our Carnation Red is gonna be part of the new collection. And if we look at it side by side with Red Hot Red, see how it's even brighter? So we're gonna just go straight from the tube here. Woo, look what that does. Anybody see that? Lovely. Dot a touch of white cream highlighter to the center of the bottom lip, blot with a tissue, and then finish with the red or the rose gloss. So a little bit of this. Then we're going to do a blot. And then we have two glosses. One is a little bit like peachy nude. The other is the rose gloss. And these are really comfy, nice gloss formulas. There you go, friends, the full 100% Marilyn lip, authentic Marilyn lip. Last steps are the face, and these are really fun. You're gonna sweep the peach blush under the cheekbone to contour. Now, they never really specifically label this, but this is what it has to be. And it says, under the cheekbone to contour, blending up to the hairline. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. blush brush, and we're gonna take this blush a little lower than I might normally, under the cheekbone to the hairline. What a pretty shade. Oh, I, they really need to keep this available, this palette. Because this, while it is like an iconic and fun part of this collection, what an amazing basic for everybody to use. And like I said, this could be a contour as well. And the white is a nice little setting powder too. Use the white cream highlighter to add radiance to the face. This is where it gets really fun. Blend at the center of the forehead down the nose, and in the cupid's bow. And then there's gonna be even more placement of that. So we're gonna pop it right in here, center of the forehead, down the nose, and cupid's bow. Real touchy with the red already there, folks. Okay, got that. And then there's gonna be yet another place to put it in a second. I'm gonna take this concealer brush from Sephora, the 56. And it's a thick cream, but it's not terrible to blend. But look at that brightness, like this matte white cream. This is gonna be a tip that I take with me for all my makeup going forward. Like it's so brightening, so nice. Especially for this next step, use your finger to dab highlight cream along the top of the cheekbone from the hairline to the corner of the eye. Okay, this is awesome right here. From the hairline to the corner of the eye area right here. The lift and the brightness, and I even go down just a little bit more just because I think it's so like fun. I, I couldn't stop myself. And back to the hairline. I'm becoming convinced that everyone needs a white cream. Look at this, look how brightening. No shimmer. The brightness, the lift. Oh, I love that. Like you, you just can't achieve a brighter look than that. And then guys, what's kind of fun is to go in to this, this is not in the instructions, but go right over top of that. And if you want a little more brightness right here, like just hit the inner under eye area with that and it just really looks smooth. Apply silver screen powder on the sides of the nose. Oh, okay, that's where I basically like, I have this powder from the Snow White collection. You could use that, but let's just simplify and let's just keep it with the, the white powder that's in here, huh? Just a little bit of that on the sides of the nose, they say. For an extra old Hollywood trick, oh, dot the berry lip liner pencil to the inner corners of the eyes to brighten the whites of the eyes. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say a no thank you on that. I don't feel like I'm skilled enough to know exactly where and what they mean, but berry eyeliner, inner corner of the eye, I'm just gonna, just gonna go with what I got. And then they talk about contouring the tip of the nose like Marilyn using the taupe shadow. Um, so that's the deeper of the two. And they talk about drawing a half circle on the sides of the nose and blending well. Um, and I'm not really gonna go there with the look either because I, I tried it. To me, it looked kind of 
dull around the sides of my nose. Like I don't think I was doing it perfectly and I just didn't really feel compelled to contour the nose too much. And you can also create a subtle rounded shape at the tip of the nose by doing a little something right there also. I think I'm just gonna let my nose be and I will do the last step, which is um, placing the white cream highlighter at the very tip of the nose and blending. Of nose. Rudolph the White Nosed Reindeer. This white cream, you guys, like this is a big takeaway on this. I think it's great to have something like that. I really like the way the blush came off as well. Um, the contoured eyes, so naturally contoured. That's every step of the face for your brunette Marilyn. <laughs> Again, in the kit beyond what we use today, um, we use the two reddish tones of lipstick, but there's a peachy one, a more peachy nude gloss, um, a lip liner that would coordinate with that as well, a sharpener that we did not need to use yet. So that kind of sums up everything else that was in the kit. I'll have to pull some of those other shades into a future look, but I'll let the hair down and we'll get the whole finished effect. I don't have any hairspray in this room right now, but you kind of get the idea. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was so much fun to get to dive into this kit and try some of the different like old Hollywood makeup tricks. I really think that that palette is super that they have in here. I wish they would sell it individually and just keep it as part of their line. It's such a good matte formula and it creates just the easiest everyday like naturally contoured eye look really. But then, you know, you start implementing some of the other tricks and we get this mirror and look. See what I mean about that shadow? The way that looks like a shadow from your upper lashes down to the lower with that strange little flick. I have never ever done that um, except when practicing with this kit. The Red Hot Red lipstick that was put on all over the lips is something that's part of their line all the time. And that white matte cream, if you don't want to splurge on this collection, you can definitely get something like that from like professional pro makeup types of outlets like Camera Ready Cosmetics. Um, you look into the different lines there. Just search white matte cream and you will come up with it. So thank you guys so, so much for your time today. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.